A London man is dead after his body was found in Car Creek Lake in Knott County. The coroner tells us right now it appears to be a drowning. WYMT's Dakota Maker has talked with a Kentucky Fish and Wildlife officer about the investigation. The body of 58-year-old David M. Chadwell Jr. was found in Car Creek Lake in Knott County Wednesday evening. The Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources is handling the investigation. We label them as a death investigation, just as, you know, if state police or the sheriff's office got a call of, uh, you know, any other kind of deceased person. Knott County Coroner Corey Watson tells us the man's body was sent to Frankfurt for an autopsy. Sergeant Daniel Richardson with Fish and Wildlife says that will give them a lot of answers. By the time we get the call, the person's already removed from the water and the scene is no longer there. So we have to do a lot of follow-up investigation. Officials say always be prepared when you're on or near the water by having a life jacket on or nearby. In Knott County, Dakota Makeress, WYMT, Mountain News. Health experts say it's good to have someone with you when you're swimming. Most of us dry and rather warm this afternoon. Still plenty of sunshine, but you'll notice some of those fair weather clouds bubbling up a little taller than some others. That's when we could see some showers moving in. We've already seen some across portions of the region and a few more possible before sunset. Buffalo Mountain camera here in Perry County. You see 86 degrees right now. See, I want you to compare the height of these fair weather clouds here. Not that tall, but you try to get these. These are a little taller. These are trying to form into showers and thunderstorms, or at least showers. We don't really have the ingredients for thunderstorms out there. So in either way, most of us stay dry tonight. I-64 at Moorhead, it's all quiet. Just again, those fair weather clouds, plenty of blue sky. Humidity not off the charts. Temperatures rather warm, middle and upper 80s around the region. So if you do catch a shower, and there are a few, just might have to bring it inside for a couple of minutes before these showers move on by. They could occasionally have some heavy rain. You see that down 460 near the uh, state line there in the, between uh, where Pike, Dickinson, and Buchanan counties come together. These are not heavy rain producers, but we need to watch for uh, uh, some uh, at least localized heavy rain through the evening hours. You see this is all along a little boundary that's kind of slowly dipping through the state. And we'll try to get it out of here as we head towards tonight. So those mid 60s out there, mostly clear and calm overnight. The very latest though on heat returning and potential more showers and storms later on in the forecast. That's coming up in a few minutes. Steve. Evan, thank you. The Topps Friendly Market that was the scene of a mass shooting in Buffalo, New York in May is reopening tomorrow. The supermarket has been fully renovated since the deadly attack. The store on Jefferson Avenue says it will reopen quietly and respectfully. A moment of silence and prayer is scheduled for Thursday at 2.30 local time to honor and respect all victims and impacted associates and community members. On May 14th, 18-year-old Peyton Gendron arrived at Topps Friendly Market with ammunition and what authorities described as the express purpose of killing black people. Ten people were killed in the attack and three others were wounded. This store needs to be here. I think that they respectively have done a uh, waterfall on the inside to pay tribute to the lives that were lost. Uh, I think there are many ways we can pay respect to the lives that were lost, but this community needs this store. The U.S. Department of Justice has filed multiple federal hate crime charges against Gendron, some of which carry the possibility of the death penalty. A state grand jury also indicted the alleged shooter, and he has pleaded not guilty. He has been in custody since the attack. Steve Bannon's attempt to delay his upcoming contempt of Congress trial is denied. The one-time advisor to former President Donald Trump requested that the trial get pushed back, citing the publicity raised about him during the House Select Committee hearings. However, federal judge Carl Nichols agreed with the Justice Department today, saying it would not be an issue because it would be possible to find 14 unbiased jurors in the Washington, D.C. area who have not kept up to date with the hearings. Selection for the jury is set to begin Monday. Bannon is accused of failing to testify and hand over documents to the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th siege on the U.S. Capitol. 
Disgraced South Carolina attorney Alex Murdaugh has been indicted for murdering his wife and son. He's now facing two counts of murder and two counts of possession of a weapon during the commission of a violent crime. Thursday's decision comes a little more than a year after his wife Maggie and son Paul were found shot to death at the family's home. Murdaugh called 911 saying he'd just come home and found them, but a source close to the case says there was blood on his clothes that show he was in close contact with at least one of the victims when they were killed. Murdaugh has been in jail for months on a $7 million bond. U.S. basketball player Brittany Griner returned to a Russian court today for the third hearing in her trial on drug charges for which she could face up to a decade in prison. At a session last week at the court outside Moscow, Griner pleaded guilty to carrying vape cartridges containing cannabis oil but said she did not intend to break the law. Coming up on First at Four, for the first time in 20 years, the dollar and euro are equal in value. What does that mean for overseas travelers? Plus, watching heat return alongside sunshine and some humidity. Details on all of that heading into the weekend come up 